H.R. 2672 marks an important achievement for the federal government as an employer. I know that many individuals have been involved in this effort, but I'd particularly like to salute Senators Roth, Stevens, Eagleton, who isn't with us today, but Representatives Ford, Taylor, Okar, and Myers, two of them are missing, but um, for their tireless efforts during the last several years, to design a new retirement plan that is fair to both federal employees and the taxpayers. Designing a retirement system for, from scratch that will eventually cover as many as two million people was a difficult and a complex task. The bill that I'm signing today represents the completion of a bipartisan task that was begun three years ago and diligently pursued by the administration and the members of the Congress who are here with us today. Drawing on the best examples from the private sector on how to design a retirement plan, the bill creates a three-tiered system of benefits for employees. Social Security provides the base, a defined benefit plan provides additional retirement income, and a tax-deferred savings plan allows employees with matching money from the government to save toward their own retirements. And this bill is a sound outcome to a difficult undertaking, and it's fair to both taxpayers and employees. This legislation gives federal workers a retirement system more akin to their neighbors who work in the private sector. We can all be proud of it. I look forward to having this group here again to mark the successful completion of the next major task, simplifying the personnel system. And now I will sign the legislation.